Hello people of YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Black Panther dominated once again this weekend. Just completely wiped the floor with all of his competition, bringing in another $108 million this past weekend. It's second weekend, it only dropped 40 something percent and brought in a hundred and a hundred, a hundred and eight million dollars, guys. Once again, I, I want to state the fact that this is the first ever solo film for Black Panther. $108 million on the second weekend. Okay. Domestically, right now, this, this movie has made $400 million. Overseas, it made $304 million. Worldwide, it is sitting at $704 million. It's only been two weeks. It's only been two weeks, guys. Like... I, I don't want to beat a dead horse, but WB, Warner Brothers, you need to get your shit together, guys. Get your fucking shit together. It's amazing that Marvel can do this. And I don't care if you add in the, the you know, the black movement or ethnic, you know, all this ethnic stuff. I don't care if you add all that in. People are still going to go see this movie. Okay, you know why? Because it's a good movie. Sure, you have, it's more of a culture representation and people of that culture want to go see that movie. I understand that for sure. But what's so good about Black Panther and why I like it so much is because you don't have to be black in order to like the movie. People of all races, whether you're white, Asian, Hispanic, Italian. I, I guess Italian would technically be considered white too, I guess. I don't know. Just I digress. The point is, everybody, no matter what color you are, like this movie because it's so fucking good. The movie is good. And that's what Marvel does. Whether you think that they go by the same layout for each movie, that, I mean, they have a formula. And it works for them. And they know going in that we're going to sit with this kind of, we, we have this instruction manual. We know how we lay out our movies, and we're going to give it to a director like Ryan Coogler or, um, I was going to say Josh Whedon, but um, James Gunn and someone of that nature. And they come in, they take the instruction manual and say, well, this is what Kevin Foggy wants. Uh, I am free to do whatever I want as long as I keep within these parameters. And Ryan Coogler went in and did that with Black Panther. Black Panther was a fantastic movie, and it was a great First, to me, like, honestly, looking back, other than Iron Man, this probably is the best Marvel first solo film. Like, I like this more than Captain America, the first Avenger. Uh, it's really close to Thor, but I'm going to give Black Panther the, the slight edge. Guardians of the Galaxy was a team up. I'm not going to count that. It's, it's better than Ant-Man, even though I love Ant-Man. It's just what Ryan Coogler was able to do with this movie and the significance it has on culture... You know, this movie's fantastic. And again, not trying to beat that dead horse, WB need to get your shit together. Because Black Panther, a character that 15 years ago, if you said there was going to be a Black Panther movie, everybody would have laughed. You know how I know? Because I was one of those people that laughed. Back back when, I, when they were starting to do all these movies, and they were like, well, we're going to do Ant-Man and Doctor Strange and Black Panther. I'm like, well, I'm not going to go see any of those movies. Because I don't care about those characters. I don't know anything about those characters. I, I don't care about. In fact, I skipped the first Thor movie in theaters because of that. Thor, the first Thor film was the first and only Marvel film I did not see in theaters. Because I didn't care about Thor. And when it came out on Blu-ray, I watched it. I kicked myself in the ass. I'm like, man, this movie was fucking good. The second one wasn't so much good, but the first one was really good. And since then, Marvel has built that track record so it can go and make $108 million on a second weekend. It can make $400 million fucking domestically in two weeks because Marvel built that track record. And Warner Brothers, you need to get your shit together. You need to hire a head over your DCEU and start putting together better quality films and stop giving us this mishmash of fucking crap stew that you guys dish out. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to go ahead and talk about how Black Panther is still yet again dominating the box office. It, it's not going to slow down anytime soon 
This movie, I, I have a feeling it's going to break a billion dollars. And uh, it's worth every bit of it because it's a fantastic movie. I want to know what you guys think. Be sure to leave your comments in the comment section below. Hit that like. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified on every upcoming video that I do. I will be uploading another video again today at 8 p.m. This time I'm going to be ranking all the DCEU films. So be sure to keep your eye out for that. And until next time, guys, as always, I'm Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.